Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast, Episode 572. The new and not widely known benefits of testosterone replacement therapy. BioBalance HealthCast features conversations about anti-aging medicine. Your host is Dr. Kathy Moffat, Medical Director of BioBalance Health and a leading expert in treating symptoms of aging. Dr. Maupin is the author of The Secret Female Hormone, the seminal work about testosterone replacement therapy for women, and Got Testosterone, the award-winning book for men that helps men choose the most effective and safe form of testosterone replacement. These books are available on Amazon or from Dr. Maupin's office at BioBalance Health in St. Louis and in Kansas City. Dr. Maupin's office is currently accepting new patients. Welcome to the BioBalance HealthCast. We are going to talk today about one of the things that I do all the time, every day, and that is testosterone therapy. Most of my patients uh, come to see me, and they come to see me because their sex life has tanked when they turn 40, and they need to get it back, they want it back, or their spouse wants them to be fully sexually active. And uh, they also come because they want to look and feel younger. So those are the two main reasons patients will come to see me. And that's what I was trained with. Most people who are trained to replace testosterone, especially in, in pellet form, are trained to actually fix those two things. However, as I practiced uh, for the last 20 years, I've learned things from my patients. And many of these things are benefits of testosterone that I was never trained to look for. So I'm going to go through some of the benefits that um, I found out by treating people for these other two reasons. Now I treat people for a lot of different reasons. And um, I found out basically by patients coming in and saying something like, you know, I feel great. My sex life is great. um, But, you know, I haven't had a migraine headache in four months. And I used to get them all the time. Or they come back and say, "I, I could decrease my medication for my rheumatoid arthritis because it's much better. And so what would happen is I would then take this information and I'd say to the patient, well, I did at first, many years ago, I said, I I didn't know that. Let me investigate that to make sure that that is your testosterone that is making you better. So I then go to um, a search engine that looked at medical articles and I put in autoimmune diseases and testosterone, or I would put in Um, testosterone and migraine headaches. And I found a wealth of medical journal articles that defended and proved that replacing testosterone made, made these diseases better and that the deficiency in testosterone as we age increased the incidence of these illnesses. So there's a lot of illnesses and a lot of uh, problems that we don't think about that are associated with the lack of testosterone. One, another one is osteoporosis. You always think of osteoporosis as a lack of estrogen and a lack of of, uh, vitamin D, but it is actually also a lack of testosterone. Testosterone is a very effective bone builder. So when we give people testosterone in addition to estrogen, their bones actually reverse and make more bone Um, than if they just took estrogen. And there are several studies that back that up. So I found that happened with my patients. And so I researched it. And then I brought that into the things we talk about when they come in to see me. Some other things that you may not think about improve with testosterone, and that is um, anxiety, depression, and irritability. So many of of my folks come in and they're on antidepressants and anti-anxiety agents since they turn 40, and they don't make them feel better. In fact, uh, testosterone um, is lowered when you take an antidepressant. Uh, Increased serotonin levels uh, from these drugs actually counteract sexuality with testosterone. So it is uh, very important that I figure out whether somebody is truly depressed, primarily depressed, and has low testosterone, or if their depression is linked to uh, their low testosterone. And there's really no good test except treating their testosterone back to a place where 
their other symptoms are gone, their, their sexual sim, uh, dif- dysfunction is gone, and so that they can actually know that it's working and I get a good blood level, and then looking at the other things that like their depression, their anxiety, their irritability, and I find that many times, more than, more than 50% of the time, patients will lower or wean off their antidepressants once they get their mood back from testosterone. That does not mean if you're on testosterone, you should stop your antidepressants. I always send people back to the doctor that prescribed their antidepressants so that they can um, have this weaning off of antidepressants. You don't just stop them. There's some drugs you do, some drugs you don't, but in general, you don't just stop an antidepressant. And I tell patients, um, if they are figuring this out or we figure this out in the fall, um, SAD, which is seasonal affective disorder, which causes depression because of lack of uh, natural sunlight, uh, is not the good, a good time to decrease or stop your depre- antidepressants. Even if you're on testosterone, I tell them to hold out until the days start getting longer in January or February so that as the days get longer, they don't feel that depression from lack of sunlight because that's just another factor that will uh, make us think they have to be on antidepressants all the time if they do it in the fall. Anxiety is another issue that um, occurs from lack of testosterone both in men and women, and that is because when you don't have enough testosterone, your um, gonadotropins, which are your FSH and your LH, actually they increase, and when they increase, they surge. Some women get hot flashes from that. Some men, or most men, get anxiety attacks, and some women get anxiety attacks from those surges of of FSH and LH. Um, Testosterone can temper those two hormones and bring them down a little bit. Adding estrogen to women's uh, testosterone brings them down a lot and stops the anxiety from those surges. In men, um, giving testosterone lowers the FSH and LH, and they don't have anxiety attacks anymore. So this would help the men who have developed anxiety attacks as they got older, and it would also help women that have had anxiety attacks in this, uh, after their childbearing years. Now, sometimes we add progesterone for women if they're getting anxious at bedtime, but their FSH and LH are fine. So we do use other hormones to basically modulate the testosterone. So in terms of um, testosterone also is a, we said it's a bone builder, but it's a muscle builder. So testosterone has the effect of building muscle, so it also turns muscle on so that it will then um, cause muscle to burn calories. So as you make more muscle and as the muscle is turned on, then your calories will actually be burned quickly and you will lose fat. So we use testosterone as a basic treatment before we for weight loss if someone has low testosterone. Testosterone also helps your balance. As it builds muscle, it helps the neuromuscular junction, and then it, build, it helps you with balance. So someone who has a balance disorder or has, gotten, um, has developed poor balance as they've gotten older, usually that just gets better. It's a happy coincidence and a, a happy benefit of taking testosterone. When um, we look at other other, uh, types of benefits of testosterone, we look at the fact that it lowers insulin resistance. Insulin resistance causes weight gain and leads to prediabetes. So by adding testosterone, you are going to lower your insulin resistance and make it Uh, make you burn calories more effectively and not make so much fat. So that helps with both weight loss and preventing diabetes. Anything that can decrease weight loss also lowers blood pressure. So we find that our patients can lower blood pressure medication if this is a blood pressure problem that occurred as they got older and gained weight. Um, Insomnia is something that People complain of all the time and take multiple drugs for, or take melatonin, or, or just they just can't sleep and they're miserable because that causes fatigue. 
So when we give testosterone, one of the things people come in and say is, gee, I didn't know that I was going to be able to sleep through the night. I didn't know I wasn't going to wake up and wander around the house anymore or, or God forbid, go to the refrigerator and eat in the middle of the night, which is not a good habit and leads to um, weight gain. So this is one of those benefits that people don't associate with testosterone, but it, it truly helps. Heart disease is... Um, um, Heart disease occurs for multiple reasons, but one of the reasons is high uh, LDL cholesterol and inflammation together. Well, testosterone is a natural LDL uh, cholesterol lowering agent, and it is also an anti-inflammatory. People who um, take testosterone will say, oh, my arthritis is gone. The arthritis I got at menopause is gone. The arthritis I got when I turned 40 is gone. That's the inflammation that is lowering in your body because of the testosterone. It's also building synovial fluid inside your joints so that your joints have like oil so that they're not grinding. And that helps your arthritis as well. But heart disease requires both inflammation and, excuse me, high LDL uh, cholesterol. And if you have both of those and take testosterone, both of those lower. So that, in effect, lowers your, um, your collection of plaque on your blood vessels. So that is one of the steps we take. And if that is effective in someone, it's not effective in everyone, then we sometimes can lower the dose of their um, Lipitor or their um, statin. I had a patient that came in yesterday. She's lost 30 pounds. Um, she's lost 30 pounds in four months. And she has followed a diet. She's followed exercise. She's followed my diet, the exercise. She also has taken testosterone. She's replaced her estradiol. And she has a multitude of changes that are beneficial. She's, besides losing weight, her blood sugar is now normal. Um, her lipid, her LDL has dropped to normal. Her triglycerides went down to normal as well. She, her blood pressure medicine, now her blood pressure is low instead of high, so now she can decrease her blood pressure medicine, which I send back her back to her um, primary care and have him or her lower the blood pressure medicine. I don't take over that care because that's not my specialty. So he or she may know something about that patient that I don't know and decide not to lower, the, not to lower their blood pressure medicine. But in many ways... Uh, people get healthier and therefore can back off on some of their medicines. My favorite thing is autoimmune diseases because autoimmune diseases, I, I never anticipated that testosterone would improve them. But honestly, I've had some patients come in and who were crippled by rheumatoid arthritis, who were at the max of all their drugs, and they still were crippled by it. There was nothing that would help them. So they came to came to me as a last resort to feel better or to sleep but or for pain because it uh, testosterone lowers your or excuse me increases your pain threshold lowers your pain when when that happened on my very first patient that came for that and I treated her with testosterone she asked me if it was going to help her rheumatoid arthritis and I said I didn't know this is decades ago so when I, and I still have her as a patient and, I, and she said, I'm maxed out. I sit in a chair all day. I can't do anything. And I have a grandchild, and I want to do things. And so I, um, I said, well, let's see. So we tried it, and when she came back in, I really didn't think it was the same woman. She walked in normally. She wasn't using a cane. She wasn't using assistance. No one had to help her into a chair. She was walking normally, and she said, I have my, I have my life back. My uh, rheumatoid arthritis is now manageable with the drugs they give me and testosterone. And now I'm, she said, I painted the whole in interior of my house in the last four months. So she was thrilled and that made me go back to the research, find all the research. There's lots of research on, on autoimmune diseases and testosterone because the initial thought was when we look at men and women, men have 10 times as much testosterone as women and men don't get autoimmune diseases until much later in their lives when their testosterone is very low. So they started investigating that. And they found that testosterone is one of the things that can trigger, it going down can trigger 
of the autoimmune um, abnormal immune reactivity to your own tissues. So they studied that and they found that treating with testosterone often would normalize the immune system and not make it so hyperactive. In general, I don't usually get people off all their autoimmune drugs, but they're, but if they've maxed out on their drugs, they, they can get a normal life. And that is a huge benefit of uh, testosterone treatment. Um, I've had a patient that was going blind from lupus, and uh, her blindness literally stopped progressing. She had lost the sight in one eye and was losing the sight in the other. And after her first dose of testosterone, her blindness stopped progressing. So she can she could still see. She could still she still had to have someone drive her because she had minimal vision in one eye, and but she could she could read and she could actually live a uh, normal life. So that was a huge benefit. One of the things that is in the literature and I had known about it is, uh, but I didn't research it until uh, some articles came out about it, but uh, immune deficiency diseases. Sometimes you don't, sometimes it's AIDS, but sometimes it's some other um, toxin that's caused you to have a poor immunity, and therefore you, people with poor immunity get everything. They get viruses, they get cancer, they get all kinds of things. So um, I found that testosterone stimulates the thymus gland, which sits right behind your breastbone. And as you get older, as testosterone drops, your thymus gland shrinks. And so produces fewer T cells, T helper cells, T killer cells, and testosterone reverses that activity and increases the thymus glands production of different uh, peptides, but also of the white cells that kill cancer and kill viruses and bacteria. So it, it actually helps improve, but not cure, the um, immune deficiencies. So last but not least, there's a secondary um, improvement in people who take testosterone. And that is testosterone works on your brain so you can think clearly. And there's lots of articles about that. It prevents it, taking testosterone for 10 years, pushes back the onset of uh, Alzheimer's for 10 years. That's because it's an anti-inflammatory. It also keeps your brain from uh, shrinking. It's an anabolic hormones, so it makes the brain um, repair itself and not repair itself in an abnormal way by, uh, by collecting the, um, the um, gly glycide, or gly um, I can't remember the name of what is collected in Alzheimer's, but it, it covers the neurons and actually slows the neurons. It doesn't cause that. In fact, it decreases the collection of that. So in terms of dementia from just shrinking your brain or from Alzheimer's dementia, it does delay the onset of that. So you get an extra 10 years of being able to think clearly. In addition, your, your motivation comes back. So I noticed, I, I remember when I first started testosterone, I had all kinds of things undone around my house that were my, that were my responsibility. And there were piles of things that weren't finished or done. It's, and I asked patients, well, if you want to know if your motivation is there or not, I mean, for women, do you just have stacks of laundry just sitting there needing to be washed and, and folded and put away? Um, and generally, people without testosterone will say, yeah, I've just all over the house, there's stuff that's, you know, not done. And I need to get back to doing those things. Those are the things I'm supposed to do. My husband does other things or my partner does other things. So the motivation that comes back, it makes you want to basically be in the world and live again and do what you're supposed to be doing, go, going to work and also doing your work at home, it also helps us be more social. Uh, without testosterone, we kind of invert. We, don't, we aren't as outgoing. And so that is, that is a benefit to most of us. We, most of us, as we get older, our world gets smaller and we don't have as many friends and we don't go out and find new friends and we don't go out and do new things. So testosterone helps us with that. I can't say that it reverses it back to what you did when you were 30, but it does reverse that and it does help you actually make your world a little bigger, which is very important. All of these things are things that testosterone does. 
And it's not just about sex, although sex is, is very important to everyone in general. I mean, unless you've had a traumatic experience, sex is part of your life and it shouldn't be left by the wayside when your testosterone decreases. It shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to you shouldn't walk away from it because without testosterone, you really don't have the hunger for sex. You don't have libido. You don't, re, women don't respond normally. We don't, uh, we don't look at our partner in the same way. We go, oh, no, you know, I could live without him uh, or her, whatever. But we don't look at sex the same way. It changes our brain so that we are old. So it's important if you're in a relationship to keep that sexual spark alive because that is one of the binding um, qualities of a marriage or, or a long-term relationship. So I encourage you to get your testosterone tested. Look for my um, health casts on what levels you need to, to be healthy and getting your testosterone replaced. Obviously, I think that the uh, most comprehensive improvement happens with testosterone pellets, and they are the least risky. They don't cause they don't cause side effects. So I would encourage you to have testosterone pellets. Uh, if you can have estrogen, estrogen in women helps. It it modulates the testosterone so that you don't get as much facial hair and that your skin is softer, and all the things that estrogen does like give you a wet vagina and, and more lubrication. So the two are ideal. If for some reason you can't take estrogen, then testosterone is a, a good, alone is a good second choice. So I would advise all of you who have any of these problems to really look into this and try using testosterone to improve your life. In general, you don't have to live like this. You can get better. So I hope you listen to us next week. We'll be talking more about testosterone and sexual dysfunction and sexual function in women. Join us then. Email your questions or comments to podcast at biobalancehealth.com. You can find the Biobalance HealthCast on iTunes and on YouTube. For more information about bioidentical hormone pellet therapy and other reverse aging solutions, visit biobalancehealth.com or call 314-993-0963. You can find Dr. Maupin on Twitter at Dr. Kathy Maupin and on Facebook at facebook.com slash biobalancehealth.